Olá, bom dia e bem-vindo ao nosso canal, Quinta Fonte Pipa. Hello, good morning and welcome back to our channel, Quinta Fonte Pipa. I'm Alex. And I'm Molly. With Eddie, our, our guardian dog. Well, this week we've had um, plenty of trips out. Uh, I'll go to visit Pete uh, and he's bought us a hay feeder, bless him. Which we'll go up and we'll show you that in a second. Uh, which we we go around to his place to help him, well, give him some advice on fencing his place in because he wants to get small cows um, and to pick up the hay feeder. Right, well, I've come over to our friend's house, Pete. We went to Spain with him last week to go and look at some gates and uh, hay feeders and things like that. Pete's had his gates delivered and bless him, he's bought us a hay feeder because I'm going to do some welding for him and some other bits and help him with some fencing. So uh, let's go and pick up this hay feeder. All right, well, they're, they're easy to put in, Pete. There's, a, there's one extra pole we've got for, there should be one oh really wow. massive pole. Where is it? On the longer gate, you'd want to put oh a big yeah. old block of concrete made for this. Where right, like that. You want to put a hole in the ground like in that, that for pattern. concrete. Ah, oh, And put the post is, yeah. in the middle of it. Oh, this is the long one, isn't it? You've got your soldier, this is the long one. Yeah, so this one, literally, we want to try and put in, you know where the electric gate is in the middle, it doesn't work at the moment. It's the end of the, 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 the cobbles. Calzadas. We want to chuck that in there, and what I'd like you to do is weld the gate mechanism on, if possible. The electric bit? Yeah, essentially, yeah. So if we put that on the side that the electric yeah. bit yeah. pulls out from, and then just chuck it in there, if that sounds alright with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might yeah, even need yeah. to weld like a metal plate on there and then bolt it and then bolt, Yeah, you will, you have to put something to That's it. That's what I, I reckon, yeah. And it'll want to be secure because constantly opening and closing the gate, it'll just snap gonna, something off. Exactly, yeah. So it wants to be put on properly. That's it, yeah. More, okay. If we go down to the... Yeah, you've got, pair, you've got a pair of... I've got the... Pete wants me to come and do a couple of sections with him and show him how I would put it in. Um, not that I'm a fencing expert, but I put a lot of fencing up, so... Right, well, as you can see, this isn't really going to keep anything out, is it? So, and as you can see, the posts have only gone in so far. Which is not really enough to, to keep them secured. But Also had Cindy Vine come around this week to visit us on ooh, um, <laughs> a few days ago. Yeah, yeah God, I don't know. <laughs> no the idea. The weeks just merge into one at this point. Yeah. So because she's still got no running water and hasn't got a fully fitted bathroom or anything like that yet, so she was desperate to come over and have a proper shower and wash her hair in a, in a proper shower rather than I don't know, I'm assuming buckets and things like that. Lesser. So uh, if you haven't seen her channel, we'll put a link up the top here to Cindy. Uh, go over and check her channel out. She also came for a visit to see the very very cute baby goats you have on the farm. Oh, it's, she does like. Is it a she? <laughs> yeah. Yep. She likes a little cuddle there. Well, Molly spends a lot of time with them, making sure that they're friendly. Is this your baby? Is that why yep. you're coming here? Yeah, but Edna's lovely. Edna's my favourite goat, hence Edna. why she's so friendly. Because it looked like she was smiling at me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm going to be doing some fencing uh, and some fence repairs lower down by the house because the goats have. Um, taken advantage of the odd burnt post that was still in the fence. Uh, they've tested it, found the weak post, broken them and they keep getting in our back garden where we've got all our uh, fruit trees and everything. So uh, that needed doing. It's a, it's a pain having to go and get them out. And I think we're going to let the goats out later on, aren't you, for their first day ever out. So uh, look forward to a little bit of goat baby footage at the end of the at the end of this video. Hopefully they'll come along and, well, hopefully they'll play on the tyres and things like that. It'll be quite sweet to see. But it'll be their first day in the freedom. Outside of the barn without mum. I don't know if you can see it, but that post there is burnt from the fire because the fire came in through here a couple of years ago. So I'm trying to repair a few posts here. I've re-tensioned all the wire in the back of our, our what we call our garden for the house because the goats have broken chunks of it. And then, uh, as you can see, we've got all this mess here of ladders. And all of these ladders were here when we moved here, and it's just to 
hopefully, which hasn't worked, keeps them out of the garden. Yeah. And it's lovely having these staircases, but they're a real pain to fence around. So. Normally I have my tractor here with the bucket and I stand on the bucket so I can... Well, I'm having to do this one-handed today so it's going to be a bit slower than normal. I just hope I don't meet any rocks. But this is, a, this is Portugal so of course he is going to find a rock. Huh? This is Portugal so of course you'll find a rock. Oh yeah. ladder off now. Stand back a little bit more because I'm just going to fling it off. You're not going to be able to fling it off because you wired it on. Where? Right in front of you. Or is oh, it the other one? So we had to wire them on to create more height to keep them out. Which didn't work. And another thing, if you've got animals, things like this, even just little bits of wire like that that you've, you've cut off when you're, you're doing fencing never leave it on the ground uh, because if the animals pick these up you'll end up with a lot of problems and that's actually uh, aimed at Pete because he's looking at getting cows and uh, cows are great for eating bits of fencing and then they get, I can't remember exactly what it's called which is like a, a, a rust poisoning in their stomach and uh, you should pick everything up even little bits of the baling twine, blue baling twine, you often see it at Portuguese farms or other farms, all over the place. If animals pick up a length like that, it gets caught in their intestines and it can actually tie the intestine up inside them. So anything that's like that, we always pick it up. So it's not worth risking it. That one's the last one. Right. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Right, thank you. Put the staples in. Continue. keep trying to tell people is when you put these staples in don't put them all the way in the wood you do it just so it touches the wire so the wire can still slide through under the hasp because otherwise in the sun these get they stretch and then in the winter they shrink and you can snap this fencing wire where you've pinched it with these staples so don't don't over come don't over tighten them into the wood I think you'll find that's probably good enough oh bless your heart Molly I wonder where Molly's gone. Barbed wire. Barbed wire. Well done, sweetheart. You're going to need it. Yeah. Well, I think what we'll do here, Two. where this fence is coming here and it's kinking that way, obviously I couldn't I couldn't do it with all the tension and knock this new post in, but what I'd normally do is I'd put this fence post to this side of the wire because when this is tight, if the goat's foot, it might want to pull these hasps out but if the post is this, your side of the fence you're pushing the, the fence wire onto the post so when you come to external corners I'd go the opposite way of the rest of the fence around a corner post because then you're not relying just on the hasps to keep the fence in, in place right. Can you hold that Dolly? What? The stick? Loose bit of the stick. Yep. And pull it out.
again without doing it up so it pinches the wire. A good firm grip on the right. Ready to pull tight now. And I'm gonna go that way the other side with it, which will be about there. Pull on it slightly. That'll do. Mm. Yeah, I know I've got enough room in there now to so get it there. When you put your staples in, don't put them in vertically, put them in at an angle because then you won't split the grain of the wood with two nails going in the, in the same crack, you bridge them across the different pieces of wood. Right, now I mean, there's a, there is a better way of doing this with a proper tensioner which I haven't got but what I can do now see the tension appearing in the wire and that's how with this fence you can do the same you see this is a bit wobbly this one the other one's not and this will re-tension the, the wire you see it's getting tighter already because I worried it might pull this staple out because I've done it like I just said I put it on the other on the inside of the post when really I'd like the fence to wrap around this side of it so it can't pulling it onto the post I'm going to put a wrap of wire there so it's through there like that one cross like that just so it holds it in place good pair of pliers Come off of there in a hurry. Cut off the tags. And again, you don't want your animals hurting themselves. So what I tend to do is turn those tags around like that. Either just facing them in back to the post or like this one. nail it into the wood then there's no edges for your animals to rip their eyes open or cut themselves so as you can see dad has fixed the fence here in the back garden and all the way around to the side of the tank to hopefully keep the goats out and he also installed this piece of fencing here and they don't jump over the wall. And we no longer need to have ladders. <laughs> right, well as Molly's just sort of said, I um, don't know if you can show them from this side, it probably makes more sense. We've just come up a staircase down here and the goats obviously walk up that before and they were just coming on this tiny wall and they'd be in our back garden so I think you saw earlier in the video we had lots of ladders and horrible junk to keep them out. Sort of didn't work, they're goats. 
so uh, I put all this in the other day I mean some of the posts are not super super sturdy here um, this one is because there's a lot of rock behind this wall but that is more than enough for them when they're stood on that they we've already watched them haven't we in the last day or so and they've come up oh can't get in here and they've not tried to jump over the top if they do again we'll put another strand of barbed wire over the top but I've finished tensioning off the fence you saw us doing earlier I've put in another post there I reutilised another post there to keep the fence up put another one in here like I said I would do in the, in the video earlier because this bit was a bit soft and now you can see it's it's all tight and that's with the help of another post the reason why this gate post when I was tensioning this up moves in a little bit um, it's sort of like a, a bit of a Portuguese gate that I've adapted they often have a piece of string and a stick they can use the stick as a lever and it pulls the rope in and it pulls this in this is a gate I've got to put more wire on the top to match the height of this or they're just going to jump over this but normally you pull it there's a little wire hoop on there there's a hoop at the bottom which you put the bottom of the fence post in and then as you tension this back the fence panel here goes tight and it also pulls this one back that way and there they are they're going down the side of the fall known out using the other staircase the fire singed these posts but thankfully they were fine uh, and a guy when he was clearing out the eucalyptus in a massive great bulldozer he backed into this fence here and he knocked these posts over so I made him refix them which he did and he did quite a good job um, but it meant that everything went a bit soft um, so this is a little bit soft but that's alright the goats are not going to jump in here now but this isn't the piece of fencing the goats like to test it's the one at the back because it's lower yeah this is a little bit taller here so you see when I put this gateway in I've utilised telegraph poles as, as corner posts um, and this extra bit of height with uh, again it's a sort of a, a Portuguese thing when you make these gates just out of a fence thing having vertical strainers in it really helps when they they push against it and they, they push a couple of times and then they, they leave it but again that's got the same mechanism pretty much as we've got on the other side and we lift it out and we can open it let the goats in or out but this one is to keep them out because this is pretty much our, our back garden and we've got our orchard in here um, in here we have cherries, orange, apple, pear, plum, plum nectarine, loquat, lo oh what's the other one? Pomegranate. Pomegranate, um, pears, oranges, cherries, plums, yeah, I think you said all that, haven't you? So, and there's a couple more down here. Again, because of the terracing, you can see what the goats do, but they'll walk along here and then they would jump through. I mean, how do you, you stop a corner like this from the goats because of the terraces? So I've got another gate here. Uh, that's another method I can show you how we've got there's the metal loop at the bottom where the, the fence goes in and it's got an extremely strong nine inch nail driven into the into the fence post and then all I do is push it back and lever it out and there you go and that believe it or not if you stand back a little bit more you'll see all the tension squeaking on the other one I mean this needs fixing again this I think this got damaged by the fireman in the fire mm -hmm. they did this and that's why it's broken at the bottom still they, they they broke it down so they could run through here so that's this little section section of fencing I fixed another one down here so and this one I've just redone again you see that's pretty sturdy this is mainly is to keep the goats out and it's also to keep the wild boar because I've left this open for two nights come and have a look at what they do to our field they absolutely destroy it I'm 
And there are also a few plum trees in this field as well. Okay. Well, they've ploughed up 80% of this field now. And I've got some good stuff growing in this field. There's a lot of clover and other good grass and the goats like it in this field. They return to it, which means they like what they're eating. Um, but they've trashed it. So, Right, now what are we doing? So we are going to let the babies out for the first time on grass. <laughs> so they're now larger now. Oh, freedom! Lucy, good girl. And Lucy, our dog here, spends most of the day outside with Eddie and they just guard all the goats for us. They're extremely good. Eddie in the barn before, curled up amongst the baby goats sleeping with them when all the mums went out and they were left alone. He's an extremely good guardian dog. I don't know where to film. <laughs> First on the top. <laughs> oh, I think they enjoy this. Let them run. 